Are you ready for summer? I do not know if I am, but I know that Bloom Chic is. You know what, this is a brand that's always been well received on my channel, and I think that's because we just see so much of it online, and we really want to know if it's too good to be true. They have a pretty killer advertisement campaign, if I'm completely honest. I see them anytime I'm on any of my socials. Heck, I see them if I'm on Google. Y'all, try typing in Torrid to a Google browser and see what your first result is. They really wanna make sure that they are in front of plus size women, and, from my experience with them, both like before working with them and after, I get it. I like their stuff. And you know what? These ads have totally gotten me a few times and I'm not mad about it. Their clothes are cute. Oftentimes they're fashion forward. They're totally true to size. And most of all, they are actually affordable. The one thing that I wish could be conveyed like while looking on their website was how garments feel. I say all the time that polyesters and poly blends are not created equally. And you can have one item that's 100% polyester and have it sitting right next to another that's 100% polyester and they can feel totally different. And it really depends on the quality of the manufacturing and what they're going for. You can have some polyester that feel almost like silk and then you can have some that feel like they are just completely completely unbreathable so we've come a long way and i really think that the composition tags don't tell the whole story anymore so what i really want is someone to be in the corner and describe to me what they're feeling this is one of those fabrics that if i touched in a department store i would have to look at the composition tag because i would need to know what my fingers are feeling kind of like that all right so for this assortment I'm your gal. Prepare yourself for something truly amazing, as long as your definition of amazing is incredibly narrow and really just has to do with the descriptions of how cute clothes feel. Most of what I've gotten from Bloom Chic in the past has really been, I think probably in the spring category, like with dresses, but I've also done like shirts, which are kind of seasonless. And I've also done winter, like way before I did YouTube. So, okay, I take all of that back. <laughs> I've gotten several different seasons from Bloom Chic, but I've never purchased like their summer, I've never purchased their swimsuits. And so that is what you're doing today. It doesn't really have any bearing on my past. <laughs> and today, what I wanna know is, can Bloom Chic do summer? That's a good question, Mayor. We should answer that. Oh, I intend to. Let's do this thing. So I've got a pretty good variety of stuff in here. I normally sit between a 20 and a 22, and so I decided to go with a 3X. So everything here, if it is size, it's a size 3X. When I was initially looking at the items that they sent me, I really, really wanted to go with a fruit theme. I know that sounds crazy, but y'all, they had the cutest like jumpsuits and shirts and so many dresses. I was like, I can do an entire fruit video out of these clothes. And then I decided that I would go summer theme because I think that, that might appeal to more people. There may be more people that are like, hey, I'd like something for uh, this entire season as opposed to people who are strictly looking for fruit clothes. I don't know. I am feeling a tinge of regret, but I did choose one fruit dress, which is gonna soften the blow just a little bit. All right, so let's get to the goods. I haven't tried anything on, but I have taken everything out of plastic just for your sake and mine. The first thing I decided to do was go with a couple of accessories. I have this really cute little sun hat. It has some puka shells going around the rim. This came, I was a little bit worried. It came in like my flat FedEx pack. It was folded in half like this. And whenever I opened it up, it actually looks like it is I'm doing fine. <laughs> the dress that I'm wearing right now is actually Bloom Chic. It was one of my least favorites from my last Bloom Chic haul, but this morning I really, really wanted this color because of some earrings that I'm wearing. They're like coral, and, uh, and this was the winner, and I've actually been super comfortable all day. <laughs> so my next item, online, it actually looked like this was straw, but it is like a gold color metal. And so I thought that was interesting. I'm, I don't, it won't, it doesn't go with this, but, but we're doing it, why not? I love a wide belt. I think that they look so nice. This is not necessarily what I need it on, but I wanted you to know that I've got some accessories. They came from Bloom Chic and they're probably a good price. Put my accessories over here. I'm gonna bring out the clothes. I'm going to steam them before putting them on, but I kind of wanted you to see the way that they come in. In my mind, there's a little more that screams summer than like a white, eyelet dress, and I just thought that this one was perfect. It does have just kind of some flutter sleeves, so you're gonna be fully sleeveless if this is one that you chose, but I think that it's lovely. It doesn't look like I've got any kind of zipper or anything. It's just a slide over, so it would probably make a really fancy cover up if that's what you're going for. And the model was wearing, I don't know if she was wearing this belt, I'll show a picture of her, but she was wearing a belt, and that's why I decided that I needed to bring one on. Also, I love wide belts. All right, I have two reasons. Ah, look at here. This shell is 100% cotton. So the eyelet is 100% cotton and then the lining is 100% polyester. So good to know. This one is below my knee. I really like that. It's just a tiered, pretty little, simple dress. 
How pretty would this be for family beach pictures? Okay, this one feels like summer. <laughs> I really love everything about it. Now let me show it to you without the belt. Without the belt, it, I don't know, it's a bit too plain. Let me angle that down just a smidge. Sorry, I wanted you to be able to see the full length. What do you think, Lulu? Without the belt, I think that it's just a bit too plain. This is just a one piece slide over. It does not have any type of closures. There are no buttons, there are no zippers. It is super, super simple. I was worried about the going over my head part, but she made it. Good job, little lady. Yeah, I think that the belt really does pull it together. Here, I'll take my hat off in case it's distracting. But I do think that this is just a lovely, lovely summer dress. I'm gonna show you a little bit of motion. It very much has an A-line skirt, so it doesn't come out a whole lot. There is enough to just make it kind of light and feminine. It angles in, so it's not like a flutter sleeve that comes out on my shoulder. Sometimes I think that those widen my shoulders a little bit, make me look a little bit more broad. So it's cut in quite a bit, and then the flutter doesn't even go to the end of my shoulders. And then right here along my neck, there is a ruffle. And then the reason that it could come over so well is that this is a big old piece of elastic, but it doesn't do any neck touching. There's no suffocation feeling. I feel like this one is a very, a very light and breezy and pretty perfect. I say that and I haven't even gotten to the fruit dresses. <laughs> Okay, so next is the swimsuit. I had a really tough time deciding. Bloom Chic has tons of swimsuits that have different coverage options. They have some that have some nice frills if you want your arms covered. They have some that have pants of different lengths or skirts that go down and cover different parts. The place that I am the most self-conscious is my inner, um, is my inner thighs, are my inner thighs. The place where I'm the most self-conscious is my inner thighs. And so I wanted a swimsuit that I could feel comfortable showing you on camera, that I would feel comfortable wearing around people who were not just my family. And this is one of their swim dresses. It's actually super long. Like it comes, it comes like halfway between where a normal swimsuit would and my knees, maybe even further down. The top is padded. The front and back is fully lined down to this first little section under the bust. And then it has just some regular like swim panties or bottoms. I don't know what you call them. This is what they got. And it looks like these probably come well above my belly button. And you won't necessarily see them a lot, but that's awesome and I kind of like that they're two separate pieces. Oh, I thought that it was a tie. So it, it has a really nice wide strap with pretty gold hardware that's gonna make it t adjustable. And then it does have ties, but they're just kind of like faux ties there for some decoration. Bloom Chic, very kindly, let me call this an accessory. It's a swim cover up. I don't know if you'd call it crocheted, whatever this guy is right here. And then just a really sweet white gauzy material. So this is 100% acrylic. It's got little tassels in some colors that I normally don't go with, but I liked that. Look, if we look at the swimsuit, it has both the dark blue and the light blue. It's got some orange and green in there too, but I think that these will coordinate really nicely. And then it's got teal up top. There's just, it's just fun. Okay, so here's the swimsuit. And I really do think that it's cute. I feel like I'd be comfortable out in public with this. If we're going to the public pool or basically any kind of summer party, I would feel 100% comfortable in this. The one thing that I would probably change would be maybe to have it cut to where it's slightly out so that it has a little more flair to it. And they had plenty of that style. Like I chose this one intentionally, but I think that the hem does weigh it down a little bit. So whenever I'm standing, it almost has like a dress effect that goes down and in. Nothing wrong with it, just something that I'm noting. It does have a little bit of control, but not a whole lot. The, the little panties down here are probably the most controlling part. They go all the way up, probably about two and a half inches above my belly button. And like I said, they're totally separate. We saw them earlier. And then these cover them super well. They're like halfway between my knee and where those end, which is is ideal. I'm gonna show you the front. I'm gonna show you the back. And so it does do a good job of keeping me controlled all up here. And I think that the colors are fun. Let me grab the cover up. Okay. <laughs> Love this piece. Like I really liked the swimsuit, but I adore this. I think this is perfect for just about any kind of vacation where you just wanna throw something over. Hang on, let me show you the back. Well, first look here. Isn't that cute? <laughs> but yeah, so we've got all of these tassels. The back comes nice and low and I've got this tassel tie that's right there kind of in the center. It's long enough and then where it comes up on the sides is still not at all revealing. And y'all, I wanna cover my legs a little bit. I think that this one, even though it would be a little bit see-through, I would feel comfortable wearing just like a brief style swimsuit in. The colors, everything just screams summer. For any of those days I need to just go sit at the pool while my daughter's out with her friends, this would be perfect. 
Okay, <laughs> Bloom Chic read my mind. <laughs> so whenever I send in a request, like I'm working with a brand, I send them my items that I'm choosing and I kind of put them like categorically. I say, okay, swimsuit, this skew, cover up this skew, dress this skew, dress this skew. And then underneath that, I put like alternates in case something sold out or sold out in my size, that kind of thing. Well, I had a blue and white striped maxi dress that I thought was so cute. If any of you get it, please let me know because I wanna know what it looks like on. And I had this one as an alternate. And so I do get a little more fruit in the mix. Um, but the one that I initially chose as my primary fruit dress is this beautiful little grapefruit number. It has a square neck, which isn't always like the best on me. And this one came in a lot of colors. I kind of had a hard time deciding between this one and the one that had the light blue background. But um, white screams summer to me. It might not to you, that's okay, but that's why they make so many colors. It's got just some really pretty ballooning sleeves. This material is so incredibly silky. It's, it's more silky than this one. I'm interested to see how it feels like breathability wise. It feels really nice, but I'm sure it's a polyester. So the inside does not have that smooth, almost like a, how a satin would feel. It's got some satin properties. It's probably not quite that slick. It doesn't have that shine to it, but that is the fabric that I think that this feels the most like. And it is 100% polyester. What I really, really like about this is that on this bottom layer, they ended up bringing up a little ruffle and surging the end. So it just adds a little bit of femininity to it. And I will take that all day long. It's got a sash, but I think it'll look really cute with my belt. Okay, she is a bold statement and I love her. <laughs> I wonder what the light blue would do, but honestly, I think that this is fantastic. Now it does have more of that polyester feel. Like you can, you can touch this one until it's synthetic. It doesn't feel like that's going to be suffocating at all. It doesn't feel like that's gonna really cause any problems. You can come on through. Watermelon. <laughs> so what I really love most about it is the fullness of the skirt. I don't know if it's what I love most. It's the print that I love most. <laughs> but look at how full and fun this skirt is. I really think that this would be fun for going out dancing or being with your family and singing some karaoke, just doing some moves. It's light. It doesn't really touch my body a lot. Look at the beautiful motion. And I think we should try it with the belt. So the, it's just an elastic waist. I think these wide belts really elevate just about everything. I love this with the belt. I love it with the sash. I just love this one in general. <laughs> All right, so I'm betting that this one is also 100% polyester and it feels much more like silk than it does satin. And the material just feels very delicate. Whereas this one has, I don't know, that sounds really weird, like a sturdier feeling to it. This feels like it's going to flow just beautifully. It feels much more lightweight. Whenever the wind blows, this one is just gonna move all over the place. Okay, so the outside is 98% polyester, 2% spandex, and then the lining is 100% polyester. And it's interesting because I don't feel any stretch at all. Every once in a while, you'll get something that says that it's like 2% spandex, and that spandex is working hard for you. This spandex is just kinda like, chilling. It's just uh, living its little 2% life. Don't worry about the spandex. So this one has really nice box pleats. You know, it's funny, all the box pleat dresses that I've gotten recently, I absolutely love. And I've always thought box pleats are not the thing for me. They accentuate my stomach. I'm interested to see how it works, especially with a flowy number. The way that these straps feel, it's almost my last drama banquet. <laughs> I wore this like fully velvet dress. It was a black velvet and it had this like satin band right here and then it had straps like this and it's funny because they were they were probably the same about one inch and it made me feel i mean first off it was like may in texas and if it's anything like today it was like 92 to 95 degrees outside and velvet was it was an option i don't remember being hot though so that's good it really kind of feels like it would be a strapless dress and then you added some nice thick straps on. And I think that there's something lovely about that. But I also think that because they're so thick, if you wanted to go strapless, which I don't know why in something this casual you would, but you could. The print on this one, so the other one over here just felt like a fun, flirty, fruity pattern. This one just feels soft and feminine. Just the way that the other one looks on me, I greatly, greatly prefer. But this one feels 
amazing. I mean, it feels like a light silk dress. There's a company that I have gotten some things in from like a Wantable called Skies Are Blue, but I've never kept the items that I'm thinking of. They are polyester, but I mean, the dresses feel like they're silk. I tried on this one that was um, maybe like a solid pink. I know that I filmed it, but I don't remember whether I ever edited it and published it but it was fantastic. And that's the same way that this feels. I mean, just like so incredibly light and flowy. I also think that the white is a better background for me than this kind of beigey cream. And then the print on this is, it's a little more subtle and it's not quite as on the nose fruit. There are some oranges in there, but there are also a lot of other flowers. And it's really just meant to be more aesthetic than like, Whoa, I am feeling 100% fun today. I am not totally sure what I think about the straps in the neck. I mean, they are beautiful, but if I'm comparing fruit dress to fruit dress, the first fruit dress wins. The, the box pleats do a really good job of sitting flat, and then it goes out into a nice A-line, which is really pretty and slimming. What do you think, Lulu? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, huh? Lulu has no preference. You wanna go out there? I mean, look at the way that this moves. If we're judging on touch alone, this is 100% the winner. I always love to have a print bottom and like a solid top. I think it's just feeling like something different and it doesn't always work. Like most of the time, whenever I do it, I'm like, oh, I think that should be opposite. But I love the idea of it and these shorts are so cute. They're just a little double layer floral short. And so it's almost like two shorts built on top of each other. But I think that the flow is going to be really neat with that. The front is a flat panel and the back is gathered elastic. So there should be plenty of give, but it'll look super tailored in front. And then with this, I had a little bit of trouble trying to decide on a top and they had this top in a really pretty like dusty rose, but they were sold out. And so I ended up getting it in white. I think that I put on there like alternate in the event that this comes back in stock and it did not. Typically the alternates are not to um, add, but they're in the event that something's sold out. <laughs> this is just a white top or is it? The back has some pieced lace that has this really pretty embroidered butterfly. Y'all, we are a huge butterfly family. Whenever we had like the lock-ins of 2020 and 2021, we ended up raising butterflies and we have all kinds of host plants in our backyard. And so we, we had gulf fritillaries, monarchs, uh, and black swallowtails. I'll show you some pictures. I'm sure I can pull them up on my phone. So whenever I see butterflies, it just reminds me of like that crazy time together, but we had, we had so much fun in ways. Like, not all around. So whenever I saw this, I really wanted it in kind of that dusty rose, but it's really pretty in white too. I'll be interested to see how it goes. They, I think they had it in black, but I thought the black black was a little too much. But I think that this is going to be really cute together. So I can feel polyester to this. Like I could touch it and tell you it wasn't a cotton. On my softest scale, I'd say that it's about a two. So if we're looking at like the softest thing you ever put your hands on to plain old Hanes tea, we're closer to the Hanes tea than we are the butter. And that's okay, we can't win them all. So this says it's 60% polyester, 35% rayon, 5% spandex, and 100% polyester. I'm imagining that it's not 200%, but that probably they're saying that this back here is 100% polyester. That's what makes sense to me. And then let's see the shorts. The shorts have more of an organza feel, and they are 100% polyester. I love the shorts and I love the look of the top, but if I received this, I would most likely return it. I do feel hot in it. The whole idea of me getting a white shirt that has like the really beautiful butterfly cut out is that it's nice and breathable and this one just is not. And it's funny because it's the same makeup as that green jumpsuit, just not the same. It does not look good on me to tuck this in and I feel that way with shorts and sometimes pants. And the biggest reason is that my natural waist is here right? And then that means that like where a waistband sits is my biggest part. So it's just not really very attractive. So see, I think that it has more of a boxy effect, but I do really, really love the look of these shorts and they are so easy casual. So if I had them, I'd probably try to do one of the like front tuck, side tuck numbers, do a little side tuck. You also front in the beginning. I don't know. That kind of looks a little slouchy. I like the shorts. I would want to wear them with a solid top, but I'd have to find one that I just love. And this one has a lot going for it, but we're already in the nineties here in Houston and this would be too hot to wear out. Overall, I do like it, but it's probably my least favorite of the whole. Last but not least, I kind of went back and forth on this. I think it was Mother's Day. When we went out to like the farm, my sister-in-law was wearing one of these. I think it was from maybe like Halara. And she looked so 
cute in it. And I was like, I need to get me one of those. I have one that's kind of similar from Pure Plus Wear, but mine is tucked in on the bottom. It's like dungarees. And this one had some wide legs and I am all about wide legs. I loved this color. I didn't know if it was gonna be that flattering on me, but I thought, you know what? We are gonna try it. I started to go with gray, but I thought I needed a little more color in my life. So the back bees down and then the top scoops. And then we've got these straps that come around. I don't even exactly know how it goes. This is part of the super soft collection. I'm about to check the composition, but I could touch this and almost tell you that it was like a cotton blend. If we're looking at my softness scale on this, this one is a three, like right smack in the middle. I really appreciate the way it feels. It looked so breezy, so to me, it looked very summer. I'm gonna try this with that same white top. And let's see, this is 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. So this is actually the same composition as this. This one does feel softer though. Yeah, there is something about this that feels a little softer. Okay. I don't know what I think about the way that this looks on me, but my goodness, does it feel nice. It's almost like it comes straight down from my bust and is just super flowy. I mean, it almost doesn't even touch my legs. Now it doesn't give me a lot of shape, but it is so incredibly comfortable. I think that this is the perfect lazy day outfit to where you could still run to the store. Like I said, my sister-in-law wore this whenever we were out in the country and it was cozy and perfect. You can still run errands and do all of your, like at least for me, non-work things because this wouldn't work for my office. But I do think this absolutely has a place in my life. Now I want you to look, I'm 5'10 and honestly, I could deal with it being like another inch and a half long, but not everyone who watches this is 5'10". It's coming just right above my ankle, but because it's the wide leg and everything seems to not be long anymore, I think that I could absolutely handle it being like right at my ankles. Now, this one has some incredibly generous pockets. Let me grab my phone. So my phone's really big and heavy. I just wanted to see how, if it would weigh it down a little. It doesn't really look like it is. I do like the flow whenever I'm walking. I get a few comments on why we focus so much on pockets and I did not talk about them in the others. Let me see. Do we have pockets in you? Y'all, I've totally failed you. This one has pockets. We're, we're taking a break and looking at pockets for a second. Normally, whenever I'm trying them on, I naturally stick my hands in the pocket and I'll tell you, but I missed it on all the dresses. So we've got pockets in here, a nice big deep one. This Bloom Chic brings it with the pockets. We've got pockets in my grapefruit and I'm betting, let's see, yes and even pockets in the white eyelet. And they're all very similar in depth. I've had several people recently ask like what the craze is with pockets and why we focus on them so much. And, and, and here's the thing, the craze with pockets is that sometimes we need to put things in places. <laughs> like when I'm at the office, if I need to get up and and run to the restroom or something, I might need my phone with me. It is convenient to stick it in my pocket. And there are just places that I go where I'm not necessarily carrying my purse and I want my hands to be free. If I'm listening to like Audible or something, I wanna stick my phone in my pocket and have my hands free to do what I need to do. So that is my take on what the big deal is with pockets. My husband thought that maybe a belt would help this. I think that it's intended for no belt because it's so flowy, but let's look. We got the belt, we got the jumpsuit, let's do it. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, if I'm being honest, I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna walk forward, walk back. Uh, I think that the belt actually like drives it up in sophistication and then we still have the wide legs for comfort, but uh, this is how she's meant to be worn. <laughs> Okay, I struggled with ranking this a little bit because I feel like the ones that really did a good job shining, really did a good job shining. I love like more than half of these and then I like the shorts. As a whole, I, I would not keep this piece just because of the breathability. And the hat I think is a fantastic accessory. If I was going on a beach vacation, it would be super easy to just add this to my cart whenever I'm adding the vacation stuff. I don't think that there's anything like truly special about it, but it is high quality. It's very thick. It's not like something that you're gonna get at Target in the dollar spot. You're getting this over in the women's section with a premium hats. <laughs> okay, so like I said, like it. I think this is a great swimsuit. It's modest in the ways that I want it to be modest, which are like, on the bottom half. And I think that it shows enough of the top to where it's not like I'm just 100% covered. I'm absolutely keeping this. I don't know if this is something that I would have just picked out on a whim, but I'm happy that it came. Honestly, whenever it didn't have the belt around it, I think that it was so incredibly flowy. But with that flowy, we do give up some shape. And that's just the way that it is. Love, love, love this. There was a belt on there that I chose, but it was sold out in the color that I wanted. And I chose this one as like a second option. and. 
I honestly did not know that this was gold. I thought that this was kind of that, like wicker's not the right word, raffia is not the right word. I cannot think of it. If future editing Meredith can put it on the screen for me, girl. But I think that this is just lovely. I think that it elevated everything that I wore it with. Of the dresses, this one I loved and it was probably my least favorite. Still loved it. I thought that this one was just so easy. It was breezy. I would question since the outside is cotton and the inside is polyester, how it would wash because cotton does have shrinking properties. And I'm sure that ironing would be necessary. I typically steam. My steamer is like hanging out right here. So next is probably a tie between these two, but I'm going to say it's this one so that we can talk about the fruit at the end. This one, this one was just a shocker in how nice it was. I did not totally love the colors and by the colors, I really mean this super bright orange. I'm normally not a neon gal, but this one just did it for me all over. And then we had kind of a toss up on like absolutely adored the way that this one felt absolutely adored the way that this one looked. And in this situation, looks trump to feeling, but very slightly. I'm keeping both of them. <laughs> this one is just so flowy. I really want to put my hands on it. I'm, I'm not doing a softness scale because it's not really soft. I don't know. It feels like, like my daughter had this lovey. It was like a little blanket and it, it had kind of a minky inside and then the trim was lined in this. It was not quite a satin, but whatever this guy is, is what it was. I just loved like holding her and like feeling that with my hands. I can, oh, she's about to go to high school, y'all. It's okay, it's okay. Why'd you bring that up? <laughs> Why'd you bring that? Yes, and then my favorite in this was this one with the really, really pretty grapefruit. In the event that Bloom Chic wants to work with me again, I would love to do a fruit haul if you're interested in it. Y'all are welcome to put like fruit haul or no fruit haul in the bottom. <laughs> like if you are absolutely adamant, you don't wanna see a haul with just clothes that have fruit on it, you just let me know. That's okay, <laughs> because it probably won't happen. But I could totally get behind some summer fruit dresses. I'm, I'm excited to have this one. This one, like I said, is my favorite. And I don't know how I didn't point out the pockets at first. I just did not stick my hands in there. I like this with the sash. I liked it with the belt. All in all, it was just really, really great. I think that this was an awesome summer haul. And I'll tell you, their website has so much stuff on it. Like it is, you can lose yourself for days in there, y'all. But it is fantastic. And they've got some wonderful, wonderful finds. I will have all of these items linked down in my description box. I do get a small commission if you use my links. It doesn't cost you anymore. It helps me out. Um, that helps me fund and do these videos on a continuous basis. So I really appreciate it. Absolutely don't go buy something out of your way. But if you're looking for something at Bloom Chic and you click on my link first, that totally helps, even if you're not purchasing that exact item. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your encouragement. The best way that you can help support me and show me the love is by doing exactly what you're doing right now because you are amazing and you are watching my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Then if you wanna go above and beyond, liking, commenting, subscribing, I'll take them all. Those help me, they help the algorithm. They make me just feel generally happy all over. Yeah, love it, here for it. Here, if you like this kind of content, I'd love you to subscribe and hang around. I hope that your day is as awesome as you are, and I will see you in the next one.